Oh, Aldridge almost got on the uh, inside of Ehiog then. But almost wasn't enough. Now Atkinson, we've had two minutes and more of stoppage time. Daly and Atkinson on one of those great runs. What a run by Daly and Atkinson. Atkinson again. That would have been one of the goals of all time. I remember him scoring a goal, something like that. I think against Crystal Palace, was it, or someone? He, he's so much strength here. And he's going against tired players, of course, but he's getting tired. And actually, I thought it was going to be a penalty here. Does that look like a lunge? But he stayed up, to be fair to him. And the keeper did well. He even had the temerity to play a 1-2 off the Tranmere defender, Higgins. That would have been a goal they would have talked about for another 50 years if he'd have uh, clinched a Wembley place with that run. And extra time comes to an end. And this quite amazing, really, Coca-Cola Cup semi-final will have another chapter to be added. Tranmere will be uh, taking the penalties into the end in which their fans are gathered. And Dino, Dean Saunders, will take the first kick for Aston Villa against Eric Nixon. So, penalty number one in the first of five for each side will be taken by Dean Saunders for Aston Villa. No problem. Kenny Irons takes the first Tranmere penalty against Bosnich. And same corner, same outcome, same score, 1-1. Right, the, uh, the man dubbed John Wayne by his manager gets off the horse, ties it up to the post, pulls out the gun, gets his finger on the trigger and fires the bullet right down the middle. Now it's the turn of the substitute, Tony Thomas, to try and keep that record going and bring Tranmere level at 2-2. It's taking a long run up. It was a successful run. I think managers will say it's all about who wants to take them, who's got the bottle. And here's a young lad who has got the bottle. And he's got the accuracy as well. Jed Brennan is the next man in the firing line for Tranmere Rovers. This is where it becomes a game within a game. The two penalties that they've taken so far have both been in to Bosnich's left, and he must have been thinking, I bet he thinks he's going to put it there. I'll put in the other one, and he's gone again. And as we said before, he is very athletic, and it was just at the right height where keepers like it. He didn't have to go down for it, he didn't have to go up, he just had to go across. Well, I remember right at the start of the season, unfortunate there for Brennan, but right at the start of this campaign, Bosnich saved the penalty coming on as a substitute in the opening round against Birmingham from uh, John Frayne. I wonder if another penalty save is going to be crucial. Atkinson with the next one for Villa. He scored. It's 4-2 and a little bit of daylight appears for Aston Villa. Higgins it is with a critical kick and he scored right into the roof of the net. Thank you very much. No problem. Wow, the relief. 4-3. Talented, mature for his age, and he's going to need that maturity and calmness now because this penalty, let's face it, this could be the one that sends Villa to Wembley, quite possibly. He's hit the bar! Tranmere are still alive! Aldridge, the man who normally takes the penalties has been saved up for the last and as it turns out most crucial if he scores here it's 4-4 and they're still alive and he has scored now it's sudden death Richardson for Villa and he has missed it the Tranmere players are celebrating but they better just mute those celebrations briefly They've still got to score themselves, of course. And if he scores from the penalty spot, Tranmere Rovers will be at Wembley. And the club that's never played at the top level of English football in its 73-year history are one kick away from Wembley.
What drama! He'll be the coolest man on the park, this chap taking this one. He's saved it, wasn't it? I told you it'd be cool, I didn't say he'd score it. Dear me, it's, it's incredible, it's just swinging to and fro here. And, oh. Yes, Ron, quite. Daly is going to take it. And the sudden death continues. It gets to the fans, it gets to the players, it gets to the commentary box as well, I can tell you. Remember, now it's not a case of a certain number each. It's just, you score, next one miss, you're through, they're out. Daly has scored. The best penalty we've seen for a while in this penalty shootout. He's cool as a cucumber and he just slot it in. Ian Nolan has got to score this, got to score it, or Tranmere are out.